Hello everybody, uh, it's just after 10 a.m. on the 6th of June and uh, we've had a little bit of action today on the uh, on the charts and uh, on my two pairs in particular uh, but it's been pretty quiet overall. I was debating about even doing a stream today uh, just because it's been pretty quiet um, but uh, today I did have some positions and I did have some close out um, after <clears throat> the video that I posted yesterday. Uh, so I'm going to go over those first, and then I'll talk about a couple of trading tools that um, can be helpful to you, to you uh, in you know modifying or uh, finding an edge uh, in your strategy, and also back testing manually back testing as well uh, your uh, your strategy so you can um, have a better a better chance of profiting uh, profiting long term. All right, uh, so the two trades that I was in yesterday now these were uh, hadn't closed out during the, yesterday's video <clears throat> and uh, this one did so this one closed out and I showed that that profit you know 27 2780 uh, these two were still in I think by the time uh, the time that I had the video posted uh, the market was in this area here uh, so I, I was in small profit on the second order but it wasn't enough to close out uh, as you can see it did end up pushing down further I closed out for 54.88. <clears throat> so uh, yesterday's profit wasn't huge. It was about $80, 82.68, dollars um, with just about 22 pips. And those were just strictly manual trades. Uh, but I, I love to see this though. This is the kind of stuff that makes me um, pretty happy uh, in hindsight that my positions actually were really good. And you can see that the price did react and behaved as I thought that it, it would. Um, so I took the inside candle setup and yes, it didn't reverse right on it, but it was enough of a slowdown in the price action uh, for it to obey that, I guess, uh, the slowdown that I was seeing. Um, it's just a bit later and then it actually fell a lot further than that as well. So <clears throat> it's pretty cool to see that uh, I was pretty close to getting the top of that peak before the, the move back down. I was only about 20 pips off um, of guessing where that would be and came out with a decent profit. Although I could have come out with more, as you can see, I closed out and jumped up a bit and went down further. But I had no idea that this was going to this was going to happen. And I'm not going to kick myself because at the time I didn't know that it was going to go further. Uh, and so I never looked back. After it closed out here, I said, great, I got my 54.88 and uh, moved on. And uh, didn't even really care that this that, that it moved lower. But it was kind of cool to see that, you know, I did was able to gather uh, that whole big move there, um, or at least get the peak of it. OK, uh, so no action manually after that, just a few trades in the morning. I like to take the trades. Uh, anywhere, uh, if I take any manual trades, it's from about 6 a.m. to to about uh, 10 or 11, and then the uh, price starts slowing down a little bit too much, uh, where the volume uh, doesn't help me out. Okay, so I don't like to be in trades too long. Um, the longer the trade is in, the more, less likely I am to to profit from it. Uh, so today's trades uh, were also very small scalps. Uh, inside candle set up again here, uh, right where this uh, support level is. Uh, so I wasn't just taking inside candles because you can see that there are some in here. I wanted to wait till an inside candle came on uh, on or near or just past a support level, which was down here, um, and uh, took this one here. And uh, it was a little late on the entry. I was a little, late, little late on the entry. This candle here pulled back down a bit and then I entered. Now it shows that I entered kind of high, uh, but that's because of the spread. I actually entered way down here um, at, in this uh, 5.4 uh, fixed spread is what knocked the position up. That's fine. The 5.4 is high, uh, but it, it is a fixed spread with no additional fees on top. Uh, it did move up. It took a little, um, like an hour or so to, to actually move into my profit level, pushed a bit higher, and it fell back down. Went to that same level again right in here. And I took another position inside candle right at the 
support, support, support. And uh, kind of bounced around a little bit, jumped up. And it's been doing that all morning now, um, kind of ranging in this, in, in this uh, near the support level area. Uh, I, could pr I probably could have entered again here. Um, so on this candle. Uh, but I decided that uh, I'm just going to probably call it quits for the rest of the morning. Uh, volume starting to slow down a bit. Uh, and I already made close to about $60 uh, on the manual trades so far today. All right. Uh, so on top of that, I actually had a uh, algorithm trade. Uh, this was a one-hour position uh, from my EA and uh, inside candle setup. Uh, below 30 on the RMI and the entry uh, was here. Okay, uh, so I took up, uh, I ended up taking about 35, I think it was about 35 pips or so. Okay, so 30, 36 pips. Uh, now, so for those traders that are, are looking for uh, either the RMI or pretty much any indica indicator, uh, a good place to try to do find that is uh, on mql5.com. Great website, I uh, mentioned it a few times before. If you go to Codebase, you can, well, you don't have to go to Codebase, but if you want to search the RMI or find an RMI indicator, pretty much the top one, once you search it, you'll see uh, the reviews and you'll see an RMI indicator that's basically the same as mine or pretty or pretty similar um, and so that's a way to to find uh, indicators and you can just you know search at the top and you most likely find something uh, that's valuable um, or if you'd like to do it this way you can uh, if you're mt4 you can go under indicators and best and you can see a lot of really uh, quite useful indicators that have a really good rating from users you can also do the same thing with expert advisors as well best and expert, these expert advisors can uh, are most of them are not great, but they can be modified in ways to be useful. Uh, you just have to find something uh, that is, has a good uh, base off the start. Uh, it might take take some back testing and some research to do that, uh, but it's a good it's a good place to um, start into the um, I guess um, familiarizing yourself with it, with EAs. <clears throat> Okay, uh, so uh, let me see. Oh yeah, I was going to show you my, my stats for today. Uh, I can actually show you right, right on chart. Uh, so today I've come out with $182 profit, which was 0.66% uh, profit. And it shows how many lots I used to make that profit as well, uh, which this is quite low to make that amount of profit. Uh, 51 pips, 182. That's a great day. I mean... That's a, a, a good day, actually, for pretty much anybody, um, you know, at a, at a standard job. Uh, and so I'm, I'm happy with that. <clears throat> My account just now broke uh, 28,000 uh, in uh, total balance. And I actually just broke $2,000 profit as well uh, for, the entire, uh, for the entire account. Uh, so I'm pretty happy about that. And let me see if uh, the stats have refreshed, okay? Uh, this is uh, my FX book with my account, 8.15% um, uh, profit uh, since I started. And it looked like it was, yeah, May 22nd, the date that I started. 6% drawdown, uh, which is low. And also, again, today's profit in this week, in this month. It's been a good month so far, and we're only into the, um, not even to the first week of it being done yet. <clears throat> okay, so no open trades. Everything's closed out. And, uh, wanted to talk about um, IceFX. Now, IceFX.eu, uh, really cool tool site. Not, not everything's free, but most everything is. And you'll see that in my account, I actually have a lot of these tools already uh, in uh, IceFX accounts, account info. Uh, this is such a great ind uh, indicator. It's one I use all the time. It shows me all of my stats here. Uh, it shows me drawdown. It shows me the spread. It also shows me if I have a take profit set on my trades, how much expected estimated profit for those trades will be, even on basket trades as well. Uh, so it's really it's really cool, and I use that all the time. Um, and then also the draw profit. So this here, 
uh, where it draws the profit right on on the chart. Uh, I think that's this one here. Uh, so really helpful indicators, and they're all free. Uh, and all you have to do really is just go into market. So click. Well, uh, there's probably something that you need to do first. Uh, just so just in case you haven't done it first, you go into options. You go into community, and if you don't have an MQL5 account, you, you should create one. And what you do, you do uh, you you place your login, your password, and press OK, and this should pop up, and you should be able to ha have access to all the indicators in the market, uh, and you can also uh, ISFX. And you can see all the the tools, and you can download them download them straight onto uh, the, the uh, MT4. You don't even have to restart it. You see them instantly. And you can see that most of the tools are free. Um, and it's uh, they're, they're just fantastic. OK, um, trade, uh, Trader Agent. Uh, Trader Agent is a piece of software that uh, probably can be helpful for most people. Uh, and so I'm going to show a, a, a quick video here. Let me just uh, turn down the volume. <clears throat> so I can talk during it. Uh, Trader Agent, uh, Trader Agent is, uh, I think it's about a hundred dollars. So it's not, the, it's not the cheapest piece of software, but typically this kind of software uh, can be very expensive. So if you're, if you're watching, this is a manual uh, back tester. So it allows you to take trades as you see them. You can see the options at the top right, uh, where you can place buy, sell. Um, you can. Uh, place your take profits, uh, your stop losses as well, and you can also do basket trading with this software. Partial close. I'm not sure if if your MT4 even allows, you know, partial 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 closes, uh, but trading stops are are there as well. Uh, you can download a demo uh, from the website uh, so you can check it out um, and see if if you like the software, <clears throat> but. Uh, it's the cheapest uh, software uh, for the uh, for the price, uh, or the best the best software uh, for the price that you can uh, get in regards to uh, to back manually back testing uh, that I've found so far. Uh, I'm sure that there's a, a few more of them out there, uh, but this one uh, is is fairly helpful. Okay, um, so I guess you don't need to watch the entire video, so I I kind of recommend you checking it out yourself. Uh, but go to isfx.eu and you can check out uh, and read some information on it. Uh, see, it's uh, $99, which isn't too bad. Um, and I won't, I'm not affiliated with this website at all. Um, so if you purchase, uh, obviously I'm not going to get anything from it, and that's okay. All right. Um, so that's pretty much what I wanted to talk about in, uh, in today's video because I know that some traders have been asking do you have any manual backtesting? Uh, software that allows you to uh, do some uh, some testing with, um, and you can use the trade uh, trader agent, but you don't have to use it if you just want to go through the tester, start a start a back test, and you can pause you can pause this tester yourself, but you also have to uh, do pause and unpause, and you can't draw on the chart uh, for take profit, stop losses. It doesn't show you how much profit in the manual, and all that stuff you'd have to keep on a separate notepad or something like that. Uh, so not the most friendly, uh, but it can still be done. Okay, uh, so today is is simple. I just wanted to show you uh, the profits that I've taken, and uh, in, in, in any losses as well. Uh, I finally hit a, a threshold uh, for my profit of $2,000. Uh, I plan to make a, a small withdrawal. I actually uh, recently just got my my wife a uh, a very a very nice blender, a a $350 a blender, and uh, I'm going to be withdrawing it from my account to buy her a little a little gift. Uh, since I've done I did so well last week, and so far this week is going. Uh, going very well at about $250 profit so far too. All right. Uh, so guys, if you have any questions, um, if you like this video, uh, give me a thumbs up. Uh, if you don't give me a thumbs up, just let me know what I can do better. Um, if you want some questions answered, I can do that too. Um, 
I'm all yours. Uh, if you want me to uh, dissect your system, I can do that too. Uh, maybe we can. I can help you find a better edge in it. Um, meanwhile, I'm just going to keep going throughout these videos, showing you uh, the profits that I'm making each day, uh, so you can follow along with my account uh, and my progress to uh, 50,000. Once I get to 50,000, uh, I'm going to take out a good portion of the funds in the account, have a little party, and uh, start over. I'm going to start out over pro likely again at 25,000, but I'll be going uh, to uh, Oanda. So there's actually a couple a couple of uh, questions. Once I reach that 25,000, there is a possibility that I may stay at LMFX. It depends on how I'm feeling. If I still feel safe and secure with these guys, I might push my again my account again to to uh, a 50,000 uh, a second time. Uh, if I do that, um, then I will the second time be for sure moving back to Oanda. But there's that question that I'm not sure about. Am I going to stay at LMFX once I reach that 25,000, or am I going to move to Oanda? Uh, so, uh, one of them will happen, and I'm not sure about, well, I still have a long ways to go. We're only 8% uh, only into the profit right now, and I need to be at about 50%. Actually, no, I need to be closer to about 100% um, before my goal is met. Uh, so well on well on my way, but uh, it's going to be a while. Uh, I'm guessing anywhere from eight to twelve months from from here, from now, uh, uh, before I actually reach my goal, if everything goes uh, according to plan. And as you know, nothing goes according to plan in, in trading. So uh, we'll just play it uh, as we go and uh, try to roll with the punches. All right, guys, thanks uh, for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.